Welcome back. Well, it's time to talk commodities now. Manisha Gupta is joining us with all the update from the commodity space. Hey, Manisha, good morning. Thank you for that. Well, you know, it continues to be as volatile as ever. On one side, you have the China protesting, the first protest and the biggest protest ever against the COVID flare, and the way it is spreading to other cities as well, the protest that is. On the other side, you also are looking at weak demand concerns in China, in U.S. and Europe as well, and that's weighing on to many of these uh, industrial commodities here. For the metals, it is uh, about copper, which is uh, seen a bit of a decline continuing today as well. In copper, when you look at the smelting capacity, that is lower than the mining capacity right now. So there are more investments that are needed here. Some more slide is what you are seeing in case of steel as well. Iron ore seems to be slightly supportive. And yes, in case of crude oil prices, after hitting an 11-month loss that we saw yesterday, there is some bit of a buying coming here. Even then, uh, you are looking at uh, crude prices down by 11% for the month of November. It clearly is going to be about the U.S. non-farm payroll data on this Friday. And then the 4th December meeting of OPEC and Allies, where the markets are now anticipating that you could be looking at further production cuts as well. As of now, OPEC and Allies are producing nearly 3 million barrels per day less than the agreed quota.